Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another question. I do love talking about these and here's another CISSP question for you. Now remember, it's not so much about the question. What I'm after is really more the logic of how to approach the questions. So no promises my questions are the best on the planet, but it's something to work with. So here's your question. Which of the following assurance mechanisms is most likely to provide continuous feedback about how well the access control systems are working? So the first thought is, what is the key words in the question? So what do you think? I would say the most important word in that question, continuous. Is that the one you found? So continuous feedback. Now looking at the answers, how in the world, what's a continuous feedback? Continuous feedback, kind of like me when I'm in class talking all the time, nonstop. <laughs> it's not a normal thing to do. So continuous isn't really a human thing to do. It's more of a computer thing to do. So answers, vulnerability review. If it's a review of the vulnerabilities, that's gonna be our people, that's gonna be the staff, that's part of a vulnerability assessment, maybe part of a penetration test even, pen testing the next one. Same thing, pen testing is gonna be people doing the work. Now there's tools that we're gonna to use, but there's like a moment in time when you do a vulnerability assessment, vulnerability review, penetration testing. It's not gonna be continuous. You're not doing that nonstop. You go home at night if nothing else, otherwise it's just a thing you do once a quarter, once a year not continuously. Same thing with security policy review. Who's going to be reviewing the policies? Well, that's our staff. And they're going to want to take lunch breaks and go home for sleep at night and silly things like that. So that's people as well. So the last answer, intrusion detection system. A system. A system would be a computer. A computer could actually stay awake all the time because they don't need to go home and sleep. That's what goes on in my head. <laughs> so we need continuous feedback. And the way to look at this is we have three answers that are actually humans, three answers that are people. Now, one of my test taking tips is look for people, then process, then technology, but it has to answer the question. And here we're looking for continuous feedback and people are actually out. So no test taking tips really work for every question, but it's, you know, things to think about as you're answering questions. So A, B, and C are out. The best answer is D, intrusion detection systems, because we need it to continuously work. Why? Because that's what the question says. Is it the best feedback that we could use? Is it the most information that we could get if we're worried about how well our access control systems are working? Maybe not, but the question is continuous feedback. And the only thing here that's continuous is D. So this might be a question for you where what you have to do is just answer the question with the possible answers. You have to answer that continuous feedback. You can't look for, well, if I'm looking for access control systems to work the best, what I want to do is look at the logs. I want to know who's been logging in. I want to do the vulnerability assessments, find out if there's ways in. All that stuff is good to do, but the question is continuous feedback. So you must find the critical words in the question. So. Always look for those, see if you can find them. Every question you look at, no matter how good or bad the question might be. All right, if this was helpful, give me a like, give me a follow, and I will keep doing these. See you in the next one.